Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you're all doing well and having an awesome week and you're excited to hear about the brand new book I read, which is Elusive Relations by Nikki James. And it is book two in the Valor and Doyle series. It features Akshay on the cover. And these books need to be read in order. So make sure you read book one in the series before you listen to this review. And then after you read book one, head on back to hear about Elusive Relations, book two. So life was easier when rival detectives Quaid Valor and Aslan Doyle kept to their own sides of the building. They could forget the one glorious night they'd shared and move on. See, that is in book one, so that's why you need to read book one first. But when Aslan is called to a homicide and discovers one of the victims has a personal history with Quaid, he knows a confrontation is inevitable. When news about the case spreads, Quaid can't help but get involved. He wants answers, if not for himself, then for the families of the victims. Joining Aslan and his partner, Quaid uncovers more than he bargained for. Too many secrets and lies in a case that is dangerously personal. Plus, the more time, time he spends with Aslan, the harder it is for Quaid to ignore his attraction to the Playboy detective. Aslan, who doesn't believe in repeats, can't seem to stop flirting with a grumpy MPU detective, and his rules go out the window as they're drawn deeper into the case. But what happens when one more night turns to two, and then two turns to three? Does Quaid want to risk his heart again? Has Aslan developed feelings? Can they put a stop to their fun and walk away? And do they want to? I love this series so much by Nikki James because it has a little bit oh, nope that doesn't work there we go has a little bit of everything for everyone it has romance it has suspense it has mystery Nikki will keep you guessing throughout the whole book in regards to the case at hand and who's involved who could it be I, a lot of twists and turns, um, a lot of guesswork, and then the relationship between Quaid and, um, and Aslan is a lot of push-pull, a lot of do they want to risk trying something more? Um, rather than just like hooking up and then both sides of the building being kind of torn since they work in different departments and oh it was just so good um there's a lot of different personal elements Quaid shouldn't be involved in the case because it's not his department but it does have a personal touch because one of the victims comes from his past. I won't give too much away about that. Um, I do love seeing how they work together and how they both have very different tactics, but kind of how that comes together. And then the dynamic of their relationship and how that is flourishing and yet there's a lot of pausing because of the case and then does Quaid want to get his heart broken again because his last relationship ended very badly and was quite abusive. I pulled a few examples of kind of the banter that both characters have together and how I love it and it's hilarious. So Aslan's smile grew, and he pointed a finger uh, at my face. Careful, Valor. Don't let anyone see that you enjoy my company. And then Quaid says, hardly. And then Aslan says, I think you kind of like me. And then Quaid says, I think you're delusional. So it's always this push and pull, funny... Um, cute dynamic between the two that I think is really funny. Um, Quaid is very much in his head, overthinks everything, which I can relate to. 
and then this scene specifically kind of goes with that. I stood in the rain for a long time, thinking, unsure what the right answer was, torn between yearning and desire and loneliness and right and wrong. And then my last quote from the book that is probably one of my favorites was from Quaid again. We shouldn't click. We were oil and vinegar, the sun and moon, night and day. But somehow, like all those things on the opposite side of the spectrum, we complemented each other. And I think it really speaks to how opposites attract and how they maybe are the perfect match for each other. You'll find out um, in book two. But having said that, have you read Elusive Relations by Nikki James? And I actually already have a copy of book three. And I love book two so much that the next book I'm reading is book three. So then my next review will be about that. And yeah, hope you all have a great weekend. <laughs>